hello guys you are welcome to the second video so in this video we will be looking at how we can set up our environment so that we can write our c plus plus instruction and these videos are going to be very short okay we just want you guys to start jumping straight into the code straight away so i'll be walking you guys through the installation process and how you can run your first c plus plus instruction using an ide okay so for us to do this for for you to run your c plus plus instructions you are going to need two things you will be needing a test editor and a compiler so you use the test editor to write your instructions and then you use the compiler to execute or run the instructions and nowadays we don't use test editor more we use what ides the ides give us more functionalities than the test editors so with the ide it's half error detection that you can detect that okay this line of code we have you have some error in it at the same time when you are writing the code it can give you some suggestions and all those kind of things so because of that we'll be going for an ide and the ide stands for integrated development environment okay now we have different kind of ides that you can use first we have the dev plus plus we have the code blocks we have the vs code and c lion and with the dev plus plus and the code blocks they come with so the compiler straight away so you don't need to install any compiler again but with the vs code with that one you must install the vs code ide then you install the main gw on your computer if you want a video on that leave a comment so that i will know that you want a video and i will do a video on that before i continue please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and you like the video so in this video we will be using the c lion we'll be using the c lion coming from the jet brains they are the company that developed the c lion ide and for you to get access to it first you must go to their website so open your browser open your browser and type c lion and you guys can see that in here, he is saying that well, the C Lion is a cross-platform IDE for C and C++. So this means that the default way you can use the C Lion to write on your C and your C++ instruction. And it's coming from what? The JetBrains. Okay. So click on it like this. And right now, this is what their website. And the C Lion, you can pay for it or at the same time you can also use what use it for free if you're a student or a teacher so for you to download it you just click on it and right now it's going to automatically identify the operating system that you are using so right now i am using linux so that's why you have to identify it okay if you are using the windows it will identify it so the only thing that you need to do is to click on what download to download the setup file so after you have downloaded the setup file, go to your download folder, then you double click on it or you right click on it and you click on open. The installation process is very simple. After the installation, please open your new IDE so you can just search for it and then you click on it to open it. Okay, so right now. This is the first interface and it's saying that we, we are using the 2024.1 okay and this is the default window that you are going to see and eh? this is the default window over here so let me open it very quick okay so right now you're saying that you are welcome to the c lion okay uh-huh and in here he's saying that you should create a new project so you click on new project and it's going to open this new window for you and you can see that we have what the location over here so with the location is going to tell you where you are going to save your c plus plus project okay if you don't want this location you can change it by clicking on what this icon over here and then inside it then you choose what a place where you want to save it so let's say that i want to save my own document i can click on what my documents okay let me open it like this i can click on it and then i can create a folder so for you to create a folder you can click this one and you give the a name to the folder so let's that i will name it c plus plus files okay 
file so like this then i'll click on ok so right now i've created a folder called c plus plus file and i will select it and click on ok and right now you can see that the directory have changed okay to the document c plus plus file okay and for for that i can also create what the project that i want to create and i can give it what a project name okay so right now the project's name can be my first c plus plus projects okay c plus plus projects and let's now move on to the language standard and with the language standard you guys can see that by default it has selected what the uh, c plus plus 17 okay so i'm going to leave it back to the default then in here i'm not going to touch anything and then at the bottom here you can click on what creates okay so it's going to create your c plus plus project for you straight away if you are running it for the first time it's going to take time okay if you are running it for the first time it's going to take time so please don't worry okay then let's wait for it to do its thing okay so right now this is what this is the interface that we are going to work with and by default it is giving us what this default was structure over here the c plus plus default was structure over here don't worry in our next video we will be explaining this concept to you eh? but let's navigate our way out over here so in here you can see that at the left side here we have what the project that we have created the project's name over here okay and inside this project we have our main uh, main dot cpp uh -huh. we have our main cpp and we can even collapse this window by clicking here if you want to hide it like this and if you want to bring it back then you click here and at the bottom here we have what different icons over here but in here we are going to look at the terminal so if let's say that you want to open your terminal or your command prompt okay so you can click on it to open the terminal or your command prompt then right now let's restructure the code and run our first c plus plus project okay so i'm going to delete this over here and you guys can see that the ide is what complaining you got you can see the red line over here you see that there were two errors one warning are you getting it? so that's why we are using what an ide okay so in here at the top here just type using eh, using namespace std don't worry in our next video we will be explaining everything everything to you guys okay but today we are just running this instruction okay so right now after you are done how can you run your c plus plus instruction so at the top here you can see that we have what the play icon over here so just click on it so when you click on it it's going to run your project for you and right now you can see that i'm having what hello world so let me change this hello world to a different thing so let's say that hello miracle hello miracle and let's run it and see what happens okay so right now we are getting what the hello miracle over here so this means that we have been able to run our first c plus plus project and you can use any ide either the dev plus plus or the code blog or the vs code the only thing that matters is what the instructions in it and also the configuration of that ide apart from that everything stands cool okay so right now congratulations to you guys and there will be a small test for you guys to try on hands on in the next video we'll be looking at the structure over here we must understand this structure before we can start our c plus plus instruction what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of using namespace std what is the meaning of the int main and also the instructions in it so in our next video we'll be looking at that one make sure you subscribe to the channel goodbye